Hi guys, Jeremy here from Precision Sales. Uh, I've just been asked to talk about the difference between fixed foot and loose foot. And what that means is one better than the other. What are the different uh, advantages and disadvantages of the two uh, sales sale styles? Uh, and uh, what should you get on your boat? So um, basically when we're talking about uh, you know fixed foot versus loose foot, there's a number of things we want to talk about. One is the efficiency and the power of the sail. How is it? How is it shaped? Uh, what are, What are the differences in the shape of the sail? Two is uh, trimming and handling. How are you going to uh, adjust the trim of your sail differently depending on whether you have fixed or loose foot? And three is uh, are Are you removing? Uh, you know how How does it change when you're taking the sail off your boat um, and and actually physically? Uh, you know, taking it on, taking it off, off the boat. First of all, let's uh, talk a little bit about the history and why we transitioned from fixed foot to loose footed. Uh, essentially, before the 1980s and the 1970s and, and pre 1970s, uh, almost all sales were fixed foot. Um, this, there's a number of reasons why. The the main one, uh, apart from just tradition, and that's how we did it was that we were using a lot different sailcloth. Uh, even though we were using Dacrons by that point, uh, it wasn't just cotton nylon sails, and uh, we were using polyester Dacron sails. It was a very different sailcloth. Uh, it was far stretchier, far, far lower modulus. Um, it needed the extra support for sail shape, and we just hadn't really explored all the different ways of of uh, cutting the sails and creating a better sail aerofoil for you know maximizing laminar flow and all those all those great things we do now. Um, it wasn't until about the 1980s we started to play around a little bit more with fi uh, loose footed or fixed footed, and what we found was that there is uh, quite a few advantages. Um, not least of so is the uh, the actual shape of the sail itself. So what I've done is I've pulled up two designs here that you should be able to see. Um, one is uh, loose footed, the other one is fixed footed. It's actually the exact same sail as for a gentleman's uh, Hunter 340 that we're in the process of designing right now. And uh, what you can see, the biggest biggest difference is uh, you can see a little bit of foot round down here. As, and, and on the fixed foot, it's just straight across. And what we have to do when we're looking to uh, build a fixed footed sail is essentially taper in the, the bottom of the belly and really make sure that it's going to fit in that groove properly and that it's going to be able to sit inside and, and function properly and, and then smoothen up to include the rest of the sail shape. With the loose footed sail, we don't have to worry about that. And what that uh, creates is not just a foot round below the, uh, slightly below the boom, but the sail shape just above it as well, you can see, is far, has far more sail shape. When you start to taper in the section, you end up putting downward load on the sail right, right across it. Uh, that, that boom really does weigh down evenly across the sail uh, and it will start to affect the rest of the aerofoil. So um, as far as uh, sail shape, bing bing, uh, loose footed sails have better sail shape. Uh, they are able to make use of that bottom section of the sail. Which leads us to the next thing, uh, trimming your sail and, and how does it affect your actual sailing style. If you have a fixed footed sail, um, your outhaul doesn't perform nearly as much of a, of a job as with a loose footed sail. You, you still can trim with it, you can apply extra lower uh, tension to it, um, but you are not going to be having the same effect as you will with a loose footed sail. So with a loose footed sail, uh, the outhaul has far more effect it's going to, uh, it's far less of a set it and forget it mentality and all of a sudden becomes another tool and that makes your sail more efficient. Um, personally, when I'm sailing, uh, all these tools, you know, whether it's your Cunningham, your Flattener, your Outhaul, they're all different, you know, tools that we have added to the sail for you to uh, either induce or, or flatten off uh, the sail shape of, of your sail depending on the wind conditions uh, and, you know, w which way you're pointing the, the sails. Uh, so having a loose footed sail makes for a much more versatile sail as far as trimming and using the different tools that we put onto your sail for you to uh, to adjust it. 
Um, and then the final third point was um, how do we take it off and put it back on? I mean, it's, it's not um, super crucial, but if uh, you've ever fought with trying to get your uh, fixed footed sail whose bolt rope is, you know, slightly swollen past that uh, groove diameter or is, has so much friction down it, um, it, is a, it is a headache. Uh, you don't find that with loose footed. Uh, loose footed sails are just connected by either a clue slug that's attached at the uh, clue of the sail, obviously, and by the tack connection. If you have a larger boat or if your boat has a car, uh, it essentially acts as the clue slug uh, and you can just attach your clue ring right to the car that then slides up and down the groove. Um, the rest of the sail isn't attached at all to the boom. Uh, it's, the sail is designed to support the weight of the boom. Uh, I have heard people um, you know, have concerns that without the fixed footed sail that their main sail is not going to be able to support the weight of the boom. Uh, that, that's not really an issue. Uh, your sail is designed to do just that. Uh, we put plenty of support and patching where the high load areas are. And to my knowledge, we've never had catastrophic failure of tearing in our, in our sails. So um, uh, it, the sails are designed to withstand the weight of the boom. It does not require to have the topping lift attached to it, which some people think that you need to support the boom with the topping lifts because it doesn't connect all the way down the boom. Uh, that's, that's not an issue. Um, as far as why you should have a fixed footed sail, there really isn't a very strong argument for it. Uh, if you have a project boat that you're building to be as uh, traditional or as original as possible, um, then for all, by all means, a, a fixed footed sail makes sense then, because that's probably how your boat was, was originally built and how the sail was originally attached. Um, Otherwise, uh, if you get a fixed foot instead of loose footed sail, you're just reducing the efficiency, uh, you're reducing your ability to trim the sail, and you're going to um, and, and you're going to find it harder to uh, put on and take off your sail. There's, there's no uh, significant advantage to it. Anyways, I hope this has been informative and has answered any questions you might have about fixed footed or loose footed sails. Let us know if you have any more questions, and we'd be happy to answer them for you. Bye for now.